especially Sarah and Hatish. Welcome back to Korean Kimchi. So, woo, this is my second time. So today's dish is one of the top five Korean food which foreigners love to have. We call Hemul Pajon. This is kind of pancake, but it's not sweet. It has lots of seafood and vegetable in it. So let's look at the ingredients, what we need. So now we are making a butter for the pancake. Okay, there are two ways to make hemul pajeon. So one is you put the spring onion on the fry pan uh, with a little bit of oil and then you put all the together. That's the like, or, uh, original way, traditional way. But today we are going to more easy way. So I will, make, I will mix all together here. It's time to uh, fry. Yay! Uh, before that, we need to cut the. Uh, what is this? Pe uh, peppers. <laughs> we need to cut the peppers. So I use. This one is for the color because all this is green and everything. I told you, uh, Korean dish color is so important. But that's why we're using this one. And this one is a little bit a uh, spicy one. I love spicy, so I will put this one. We need one more egg, please. And this one, <laughs> my mom um, was given from uh, was given as a gift. Um, I think it's from the Japan. So cute, right? All right. So it's time to make. Okay. Let's put some little bit of oil. One scoop of oil. Put some spring onion into the, and put some little bit of peppers. Kemang is a kemang. Kemang. Pasta you know, it's uh, I, I screwed up, but still, it still looks really nice, no? It's nicely. Ooh. <laughs> this is gamang. <laughs> gamang. Okay, last last try. This time I will make it. Beautifully. I'm telling you, this time it really feels good. <laughs> Just put a low heat. Yeah, this size will be perfect. <laughs> the one was really big, I think. Okay, it's time. You need the patient, which I don't have. All right. Wait. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, when it's brushy, you can just uh, flip it. You can turn off. Yay! 
see? And if you don't want to do this, there's another way. You can just chop it off and just put on the butter all together and then make it like a round, really nice pancake shape. That's also really fine. But it's kind of traditional way. the dipping sauce this is uh, just soya sauce a little bit of vinegar then I put some peppers in it because I like a little spicy taste so let me taste it then so dip it. Mm. if you have a rice drinks or I guess with white wine this dry white wine will be or a little bit of a sweet Mine will be good match, I think. Alright, then I will see you next time.